I am now in my car just about to leave to Newcastle so I'm actually driving down to Newcastle from the sunny coast it's a long trip but I've been looking forward to it I'm gonna travel by myself because I'm actually heading down there for a very specific reason I'm getting a new exhaust installed at Torquet so I'm really looking forward to that because I think that's gonna really improve like um, not only fuel consumption but it's gonna like I'll actually get rid of that rusty exhaust that's currently on the Jimny the stock one but it will also look like sound sick so looking forward to that and um, but yeah my voice is a little bit sort of recovering from the weekend where I've been a bit sick didn't have COVID but <laughs> who knows what it is these days really but yeah I'm now everything's packed you might not be able to see it. it's a bit dark in here but um yeah i'm about to leave now and it's gonna be quite a drive but yeah i'm looking forward to it quick stop at mcdonald's on the way down <laughs> feeling super healthy here but i was um i had to stop to send an email and then i stopped like next to maccas but yeah i'm like halfway down i'm past logan at the moment so i'm um yeah, I'm gonna drive further down. Highway's really busy. It's actually quite scary because there's so many trucks on the highway and like you lying next to them and like they like look into your car because they're like from above and you just look up at them and you're like, get away from me. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of traffic at the moment, but it's not as bad as it would have been if I'd gone through peak time because now it's 12 o'clock and yeah sort of like from two o'clock it's gonna be really congested on the highway so better get moving oh. okay so I just arrived at Crystal Creek rainforest retreat and it's pretty nice like it's around half an hour inland from Gold Coast and I found it on hip camp and thought I might as well just check it out while I go down this way because I don't usually travel down to Gold Coast to go camping. So why not? But look at that. It's pretty, pretty nice. I think they even got toilets and showers over there, which is pretty cool. I think it's even a hot shower, which is awesome. Um, there's not many people here. There's a guy over there camping. Don't know if he's alone or not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna set up here and just, you know, chill for the day, um, read a book and listen to podcasts and things like that. So let's set up. Okay, so I'm now set up. So I'm gonna soon start cooking and stuff. And I'm gonna be sleeping in the car. And I basically like made up the bed here. It's quite comfy, at least it looks comfy. Don't know how comfy it will be, but <laughs> I'll see how I go. Uh, got some lights in there, got my pillow, yeah, so it's really nice that you can sleep in the car if you don't want to set up a tent or a swag, which is nice, and then I bought some kindling, which I'm going to make a little fire later, just cooking up some stuff, and yeah, it's really beautiful here, like it reminds me of another campsite, um, I think it was Brulu Park that I posted about on YouTube. And it had a similar creek going through, and it's just really, really beautiful. Look at that. It's just amazing. And further up, there is apparently a dam, and I really want to go and check it out. So, don't know if I'll do that today or tomorrow morning. But yeah, over there you got the toilets, shower, it's even a hot shower, which is like luxury when you go camping. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm just gonna. There, yeah, well, I'm gonna cook because I'm really hungry and yeah just listen to podcasts and things like that and then it's not really like much to do when you're camping by yourself but I think it's just nice to like chill not do anything and yeah watch a Netflix show if you downloaded that um but yeah I'm just gonna sort of start this fire we'll see how that goes and cook up some food that I brought from home Got my little, my Coolman fridge here. It's like a tiny little fridge. I got some stuff. Um, I brought the Dometic battery with me and the Kick-Ass battery as well. So 
um, just so I got enough power. And then I also have an Anderson um, an Anderson plug that goes into the Dometic battery that I plug, plug into the car. So I won't drown out of juice or anything. It's more like cooking essentials. And um, yeah, a little quick uh, water heater, whatever you call them again. I can't really remember what the name of this is, but yeah. So because I'm a little bit sick, got my ginger tea. You know. There is another thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is this kick-ass 12-volt blanket. So because I'm in Queensland, well now I'm in New South Wales, but in winter time from like march to october it can get quite cold so when you go camping like this is the best thing look at it so basically it connects it has this remote so you turn it on and it turns on for like 30 minutes and it turns itself off automatically and you can adjust between high medium and low heat and then you just basically connect it to 12 volt so you'll yeah well i'll I'm definitely going to use this one later tonight, um, unless I'll stay warm with the fire. But yeah, definitely check um, this one out because this is great if you're going camping. And for example, you're going up Double Isle, can't have camp campfires, then like this is the best thing because you're not going to be cold and yeah, it just turns off as well. So it's not any, like you don't have to be scared of it draining your battery or anything. And I just connected into the uh, Kikas handy pack uh, or the dramatic battery and yeah it just lasts forever it doesn't take it really any power at all using it so definitely recommend I know what you need I would bleed for you but you're taking somebody home I know I need to I've just had some breakfast and now I'm gonna head off. I already packed up, it didn't take too long. And now, yeah, about to leave this beautiful place. But yeah, definitely check it out because um, I'll put the link to the hip camp site um, under the video. But yeah, it's a beautiful site if you're ever heading up uh, more inland towards Gold Coast. Uh, definitely, yeah, check this one out because it's really beautiful. And I think it will be really nice if there's been bit of rain before you head here because then the actual creek will be quite full as well but yeah they got toilets and showers and everything so yeah definitely check it out but now I'm gonna head off Now I'm um, in Sawtell, which is like this really nice cozy town. Just stopped for brekkie and yeah, it was really good. Um, cheaper than what it is on the coast as well, which was nice. Uh, and now I'm going to start driving down towards Kofsaba before I go to Newcastle. And I booked myself in on a hotel in Newcastle just because I need a shower and stuff. Uh, because tomorrow we'll be doing some filming and things like that and I'll be going out camping again the next day and then the next day after that again so it would be nice to just sort of explore the area go out and eat and things like that but yeah I'm looking forward to that but not looking forward to the drive which is like 300 something kilometers now so yeah I'm just listening to podcasts and things to sort of keep myself entertained but but yeah, like it's not, I haven't really explored much here just because I don't want to get to Newcastle too late today. But um, I'll definitely get time to explore Newcastle, which will be nice. I'm finally in Newcastle. I am so wrecked. I'm so tired. Um, the drive actually went pretty alright, but 
a super funny thing happened. So basically after I had eaten lunch, right, I, <laughs> I went back to the car and then I put the GoPro down and I was like, okay, let's go and <laughs> put the key in and the car doesn't start. And I was like, why doesn't the car start? And then I was like, shit, I didn't pull the Dometic battery out of the Anderson plug. So basically I've installed this Anderson plug that goes directly to the battery and it doesn't have a DC DC charger and I didn't bring the DC DC charger with me. <laughs> so basically I have to obviously take it out every time and I forgot and it drained the battery and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> what am I gonna do now? And then I was standing there and I was like, okay, do I like wave someone down? And this was like really bad because I was on a one way street where I was parked on the left and there's only one lane where you can go straight. So obviously if I would stop someone to jump start my car, I would block the whole lane or they would block it. And it's quite like there was a lot of traffic coming through and I was like, great. Okay, so I went through my insurance with Suncorp and I was like, do I even have like some roadside assistance thing? And then I was standing there and I was like, okay, surely I have to wave someone down. And then I found this guy who was parked on the other side of the street and he was from Tire Power or something. And I run over and I was like, hey, do you like have a jump starter? Can you help me? And he was like, uh, actually, like we got this car yesterday and it's brand new and we don't have anything in it. And I was like, ah, oh, great. And then I asked another guy, he didn't even know a jump starter. But then the, the guy in front of me was parked with this massive Dodge Ram and he was like in the pub next to it because my car was parked outside a pub, conveniently outside a pub. And then I was like, you know what? I might as well just go into the pub and have a drink or something. But then I asked him, hey, do you have a jump starter? And he was like, oh, I'll go and ask my mates in the, in the pub. And he come out, um, with this other guy and he's gone to his car and he's gotten this portable jumper starter. And I was like, this is what I need. I need a portable jump starter. Like I've looked at it so many times and I've been like, oh, you know, the time on Fraser where my car didn't start because I left the rock lights on for too long. And the same thing happened. And like, this is the best thing. If you are listening to this, get a portable jump starter. It's just like, it looks like a little battery pack and it has two jump start cables on it and you connect it to the battery and you start it and then your car is generally good to go like unless your battery is like super flat but mine wasn't very flat or anything but um yeah it started right away and I was like thank god like I only lost like 20 minutes instead of like losing an hour or two waiting for someone to come and jump start my car um but yeah then I kept on driving down um fueled up like once and then I got down to Newcastle now at like six o'clock <coughs> and I'm pretty tired I'm even like <coughs> still coughing and that's why I even um got into a hotel room tonight because I last night I think like because I've been I was sick last week didn't have COVID tested like four times didn't have COVID I was just like coughing and like stuff and then now because I'm going to um going to talk it tomorrow to get my exhaust installed I'm like okay well if I'm gonna sleep outside tonight and I get even worse that's not good and if I can't talk that's even worse so yeah I got this really nice hotel room they were like oh you got an upgrade and I was like cool <laughs> and it's called like the lucky hotel which is cute um but yes yeah, so I'm just here chilling gonna be an early night tonight but i'm looking forward to sharing part two with you guys so stay tuned for the actual installation and sort of a little bit of an interview with the people at talk it and i'm really looking forward to see how it turns out so yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode